this off for quite some time but as you all know my store desperately needs a restock currently my store is at 20 sold out items and i really need to get on my shit so in regular procrastinating vicky fashion i decided to put a countdown on instagram so that i could have a deadline for myself for the restock and it's gonna be two days from now friday woo! i mostly do that just to try and motivate myself but in the process i kind of stress myself out over it it all works out in the end i think my priorities for this week is that one i reorganize and restock everything obviously two really keep track of inventory i have this habit of kind of just counting everything but not accurately or like sometimes i take out a sticker for some reason out of inventory but i don't take note of it so i'm going to be more stricter on myself on this point point. and three really up my packaging game so today is wednesday and i am going to hustle i have a lot to do today and i got some freelance that i have to get to but before that i am going to mail out everything that i need to for the shop and then close it for a few days until i reopen it with everything restocked i also like to multitask a lot so i think i'm going to be printing a lot and trying to cut some stickers as well A lot of people ask me on Instagram and YouTube and whatnot, like what kind of printer I use and what kind of sticker paper I have. So I wanted to show you guys. This guy here is my printer, an Artisan 1430. It is an inkjet CYMK printer that takes six cartridges and it's discontinued now. I've heard that this isn't the best printer to use because it's somewhat wasteful when it comes to ink. And since this is discontinued anyways, I'm gonna list some other printers that you could check out instead. And then for my sticker paper, I use online labels. This is the Mac inkjet version, and I buy them in packs of like 250. Used to be 50, used to be 100, but now I just go ham and buy 250 sheets at a time. So I finished up printing most of my stuff and now I have a really big stack. Look at all those stickers. Probably can't get through them all in one day so I'm gonna just try and spread it out throughout these three days. But yeah, this is how I usually do my stickers and I'm gonna have a lot in stock this time around. Okay. 
So I haven't been able to do a lot of shop stuff um, this morning and now as you can see it is nighttime. Someone said this looked like a screen, it's just my window. It is dark outside. The moon is out. But something very special came in the mail. Can you guess what it is? I can't guess what it is because I already know what it is. It's my stickers! So this time around I kind of bit the bullet. I ordered a lot more in bulk this time so that I don't sell out as fast as it was last time. Hopefully this will last more than an hour. And I think it will. It definitely will because I have a lot more. And I also did some restock of other stickers so I have a lot more in the future. And in total this is four pounds of stickers. Like four pounds isn't a lot overall but when you think about how it's just paper stickers it is kind of a lot. So I'm gonna open it now. Don't we all just love some unboxing content? What? There's so many. Um. What the? Something happened to my reorders and they're gray. I feel like whenever I do an unboxing, something goes wrong. So as you know, these guys are my clear stickers, but for some reason on this order, the artwork part is gray, like this. Oh man, that kind of sucks, but I mean, at least I have some for the restock. I'm just, this is 600 total. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these stickers now. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna contact Sticker App and see what's up and hopefully things can work out. It's a little disappointing, but I hope I can work things out with them and hopefully they can send me some more stickers with the actual artwork in them. But in the meantime, I'm really excited about these new stickers at least. From what I can see, I really like the size of all of the stickers. Oh my gosh, look at that. The colors on this turned out really nicely. I love it. Pascal, you cutie. So cute. Little potion bottle turned out really nicely. Ooh, yes, this one is great as well. Love the colors. Oh. This is so satisfying. This one's definitely my favorite out of all of them. Love it. And then this guy, this little window guy. Yes, so cute. And then all the white parts will be clear. And it'll be so cool when you stick it onto anything. I'm not gonna be too disappointed on things and I think I'm just gonna count my stickers for tonight and also take inventory of everything else probably, and then end things here. <gasps> you know, actually, that's pretty cool. It's like a ghost. I think I'm gonna keep these guys. I peel these back because I wanted to see what they look like because, I mean, there's no color. It's actually kind of cool. This one is kind of like a ghost and the uh, gray parts make it look very spoopy. So they're somewhat redeemable and at least I can include them as freebies for the next few orders because I mean I have 300 of them and I don't know what to do with them so. It looks kind of cool. It's like very ghosty. The honey on the other hand is kind of weird so I don't know what to do about this one. Doesn't look that great. Let me know what you think I should do with these guys because honestly I don't know. These guys I'm gonna keep for myself and I'm also gonna do some photography with it right now and see how it looks as clear stickers. I'm gonna put this guy here. I think I'm just gonna dedicate this page to stickers because it looks pretty cool. Oh, this works perfectly. It's a window. some quick impromptu photos but 
once it is daytime, I'll definitely take better product shots. This is usually how I like to edit my photos. I usually like to add in a lot of warmth because it matches the actual sticker in real life. Because what I notice is that the iPhone likes to cool down all the photos. So this turns out to be better. So in total, I ordered 2,400 stickers and I have to count all of them out just to make sure that they're all okay and that I got the amount that I ordered and then also I have to count out the ones that I already have of the other designs so this is going to be a long night I can feel it already Good morning! It is D-Day to the shop reopening today and this morning I just got done with the photo shoot so now I still gotta go cut some stickers, cut some prints, print some buttons and you know all the prep that goes into the shop. So there's a lot to get done and I'm just gonna power on through it. This is what I have now, and I counted all of these stickers last night. Gotta do these guys. I also gotta reorganize my sticker bins. Since I am running out of charms, I'm going to move these guys into a different place. By the way, these are some like pretty old charms that I've made in the past, but they're roof fire and bubbling. They're so cute. But. This is going to be the last of these charms because they're pretty old for design. But I hope you guys still like them. These guys definitely need an upgrade. And here are all the lists that I have to inventory today. I got it quite a lot done yesterday for this and then just got to fill the rest of them. shop is now live except i am still a very big mess right now i thought i had enough time to prep everything before 2 p.m but it didn't seem to be the case but i got all the inventory numbers correct feeling pretty good though i'm really glad that you guys like everything and i really can't thank you enough it's just so great i think i'm gonna take a little break and then come back to printing and all that Hello! I just wanted to pop in and take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. 
So a little bit about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with a range of thousands of classes for you to choose from. It's for creatives and curious people ranging from beginners all the way to pros and anything in between. Skillshare has a wide variety of class topics that you could choose from, a lot of it ranging from creative to lifestyle needs, and a lot of it that really helps with freelancing and creating a business. The class that I want to recommend to you this week is called Personal Branding Crafting Your Social Media Presence by Kate Ahrens. What I like about this class is that it goes over kind of our relationship with social media and how we should approach things. And most of all, it's about finding your own voice within these social platforms and trying to get more of a reach and engagement. This week, I've been preparing for the shop update and restock, so to build up the hype and just get the word across, I've been using social media as an approach to reach my audience. Best of all, Skillshare Premium Membership is under $10 a month and you get unlimited access to thousands of classes and also feedback from millions of community members. I have a link down in my description below. The first 1,000 people can use it for a trial of Skillshare Premium. And that is it! Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and back to the video! Bye! Monday. Time to get to work. So it's been a bit since I last filmed for multiple reasons. I just don't understand how this year gets weirder, really. So one, there was an earthquake on Friday and I was in the middle of playing Stardew Valley with my friend. I realized I'm terrible in emergency situations so that was fun and a little unnerving. And then after the earthquake, my power went out the next day. So, what what is up with this? And there's still a fire going on a few miles away. But today is Monday. Today is a new day, a new start of the week, which means I gotta get back to work and really sit my ass down and work. And I want to get to packing all my orders from you guys. Thank you again for showing all your love and support for this shop update. I was so happy! I'm really glad a lot of people like the stickers, mostly because it's an original design and I don't know, I'm always skeptical about how well original designs will do, so I can't thank you guys enough. So with all that, I'm gonna get to packing all your orders today. Hopefully I'll get through all of them. And then I really want to work on new packaging designs. Earlier on, I was talking about how I could revamp some things. So I want to make new thank you cards. I want to make a stamp. I don't know what else yet, but I'll figure it out. Hey, okay. 
So when I released these three sticker designs, I was thinking about making the packaging so that it has a little bit more character to it. Put this guy on. Just a small banner that I could print out. non-white border and also a white border and I think I like the white border more it gives it a little bit more of an elegance also if you're wondering I don't think anyone is wondering but I just wanted to talk about this I'm using a clay tool and also a bone folder to fold these guys that's hence the name bone folder and can you guess what it's made out of bone
So it's been a bit since I've really talked on camera. I've just been trying to get some work done, but I honestly can't. <laughs> what I did manage to do is this little doodle -doo for today. Fall equinox is the first day of fall, so I wanted to do a very fall-based doodle. In one of my last videos, I was asking for help about uh, names for him and my bear character, and one person shouted out, fun guy. <laughs> so this guy is Mushy the fun guy. <laughs> Honestly, I think a lot of artists in general like the fall season the most. That's kind of what I've noticed. Or maybe it's just what I'm more gravitated towards, so if that's what I see on my feed and whatnot. Hmm, I'm not really sure. It is interesting though. I was kind of discussing that with one of my friends and then we realized that maybe it's because there's more variety of colors in trees and foliage even though things are dying and it's also just like a nicer time where you could be cozy and indoors if only autumn in california was a little more interesting but i still like it <laughs> i think for me fall is just a great time because um it's in my comfort zone of what colors i like to use for my color palettes and my illustrations like i really like warm tones with like mustard yellows and oranges and browns so that works out well for me and i just love all the little things that come with like october and november and all the little leaf shapes and whatnot i don't know why i've been thinking about this but thought it might be interesting and i could see what you guys think as well so anyways i'm in the middle of planning for a few designs that i have to do today um one is this tissue design that I have to do for a client. I am debating over going for a more orangey fall tone with this kind of pattern or a more witchy enchanted ghostly thing. So it would be more of like a repeating pattern so I need to be aware of how that's going to work out. Also specifically for this the company wants a Halloween themed design so if I decide to go with like the fall kind, I need to make it Halloween enough, I think. And the other things that I'm designing are packing stickers. I'm going to be reusing a different design for this that I've already done. And then a Do Not Bend Me sticker. And then a stamp, because I would really like a custom stamp. So, because it's nearing the end of September, something very magical is coming, and that is Inktober! So, for me personally, I'm gonna be following some creators and their own drawing prompts for the month, which is Maggie Chang, MC Minty, with Minttober, which I thought was really cute, and then, of course, Very Little Peach with her awesome Peachtober prompt, and then a friend of mine, which is Cody Bear, and her Drawtober. So I think all three of these have some like great prompts and I'm not really great at sticking to one full thing so a friend of mine just suggested like why don't you mix and match? There's no harm in doing that and it's kind of fun to participate in all three. That's what I'm doing this year. I've never really stuck to an Inktober fully in my many years of however many years that this has been going on. What I used to do in college was actually like Inktober, like it was like ink with a paintbrush on a sketchbook. So that's what I would do. But this time around, I definitely want to do gouache and acrylic gouache because that's what I'm more comfortable with traditionally now. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to do digital because I do way too much digital anyway. So this is going to be a fun challenge for me to do all traditional gouache. One thing I don't want to do this month is just like be super hard on myself for missing a day or two and I don't think you guys should be too harsh on yourself if you guys want to do any drawing prompts this coming month because like it's great to participate in these type of events and draw as much as you can but it does kind of encourage burnout in a way so just go at your own pace and be good to yourself. Because at the end of the day, this is supposed to be a fun 
little event. So if you could do a little bit at a time, just do whatever you can. And that's the motto that I'm gonna try to live by as well. So I just wanted to quickly show what I've been up to. This was a logo for a washi tape that's coming soon, but I just messed around with it. So now it says happy mail and this will be a circle sticker for orders. And then this one, this is going to be a wood stamp that I'm going to put on top uh, in the front of the envelope. And I think it's nice and simple and very clean. So this should be a nice design. Just don't know about this mushroom. 